Hey guys, so I made this tray, which I'm using for, um, I have cookies on the bottom, chips on the top, and then chip dip in the very top bowl. So if you would like to see how I made this tiered dish for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, no, like five dollars, then go ahead and keep watching. So for this one, I was gonna use glass plates from Dollar Tree, but they didn't have any plates. They had the glass bowls, but not the glass plates. So I just, just decided to get it plastic. So you need like a smaller tray. This is just an 11 inch plastic decorative cake tray. And then I have a large cake tray. This one is 14 inches. Let me just take the sticker off the back. Also from Dollar Tree for $1. Like these tiered trays are expensive and I have a metal one. But I don't feel like taking everything off of it. Just to use it for like baking day or like any other holiday when we need extra uh, trays. Like we need this for like Saturday. In a couple days I have a bunch of people over. We need to save space but have room for food and snacks. So, okay, large tray, smaller tray. And then I'm just going to use one of these bowls. There's like a set of 12 for a dollar. And I'm just using one of these. It's plastic, but it's fine. Actually, that one has like sticky on it, so I won't use that one. Oh, come on it was on the outside so we'll just take a different one I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other 12 but I'm sure I'll find something and then three candle holders or candlesticks from Dollar Tree and I was debating how I wanted to tear this I mean, there's so many ways you can have it like big tray, smaller tray, and then just have that on the on the top. But I feel like that's not like not enough room to get under there. Or you could have it like that on the top. But I decided I want to do this one's more round and this one's more like pointy. So I decided I want to do mine too high, then like this circle. Is that how I was going to do it? No, I decided I wasn't because of that circle. I decided I would do it this way and just glue these inside of each other since they kind of nestle inside of there. And then this little circle fits right inside that circle of that candle holder. And then put this one on top. So you have plenty of room. This is like the little editing right. You have plenty of room to reach the stuff down here and you could even stack it up. Plenty of room up here. You can stack things up and then for like a dip or whatever up here on top and it sits because it has a circle. So. We're going to start by, you want to get like as close to the center as you can. Okay, 86,000. So what is this? One, two, a pack of 12 is a dollar, but we'll say three, four, five, six. So for six bucks, you're going to get this fancy tray with a bowl. Okay. So, I figured I might as well glue it now. Okay, so just try to find, oh, here, it's like two lines. I will line it up. The lines, there's like lines in the plate. So we will do that 
one and just hold it there for a second. I'll go ahead and put this on this level. This one I'm going to put it a little bit thicker just because so it can kind of ooze out and fill any spaces in between. So it's not like a snug, snug fit. I just don't want this on my table. Okay. So set that right on top. I think it looks kind of fancy seeing both of these fatter edges when the tray's on. Like I said, mine will be for like snacks. You could put chip dip in here. You could put like that buckeye dip that you dip graham crackers in. Yeah. Salsa. So you can have cheese and or salsa and chips. Like really, you could do whatever you wanted with it. That's where you want to get it. Basically how you want it and then let it set up overnight. This one, like I said, just has a little circle. So you can basically just center that circle in that candle holder, or candlestick. And then I guess this, you could just set it on there. I mean, you can glue this on. Let's see, we want it the same. And then leave this loose so it's easier to wash. I think I'm going to glue it on now. Glue on the fat end again. Or the wider end. I should have got a bigger two of this glue. Well, maybe not, because most of the stuff I've been doing has been hot glue anyways. And try to center this. The best that you can. I think for now I'll just leave this where I can take it off to wash it and put it back on. Since it's like has a ridge in there, it kind of sits on there. And then after baking day, if I decide that it didn't work out very well, and that it needs to be glued down because it's filled, then I will glue it on. I need to put some weight on here. So I think I'll put this candle. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Does it look level? Yes, actually it does. I don't know. I like having the bigger space though because you can put a lot more stuff on it. So yeah, I will be back tomorrow after this dries so we can see how it turned out. It looks pretty level.